Hey guys, it's Tara Wagner from TheOrganicSister.com again here for the second video of the Be Kind, Be Organic Q&A video series to help you grow through your personal challenges. Um, I mentioned in the first video, in the introduction, about fear and conventional wisdom and I really want to just get right out of the gate with fear because this is a really big one. This is what so much of our stuff comes down to even when we don't see it. So. In order to explain that to you, there's almost every single spiritual belief out there, almost every single um, teacher out there will tell you that there are two emotions that everything else come from, and it's either love or it's fear. If you are not in love, you are in fear. Even boredom, which stems from apathy, comes from fear. Anger comes from fear. Sadness comes from fear. So every single time that we are not in love, we are in fear. So one of the questions, and I'm going to read this really fast, one of the questions was how do you move beyond fear to get where you want to be? How do you push yourself past the fear of putting yourself out there professionally? Or maybe in your case it's not professionally, maybe it is personally, maybe it's in your family or in a relationship or whatever it is. Um, she goes on to say, I'm a photographer who sound, found herself in a position to go professional, but I'm feeling afraid and stuck. Oh, so common. It's tough not to feel like I'll be laughed at or rejected right there, hit on it. Um, like hanging up a shingle and no one knocks at the door. Okay, so what I want you to understand about this is that fear is always telling you one thing. That your fear is always coming from one thing. Okay, and it is you are afraid to find out that you're right, right? So you're probably like, what are you talking about? Scratching your head, totally lost. Some of you are probably like, yeah, you're totally right. That's exactly what it is. But for those of you that don't understand what I'm saying, here's what I mean. If you are afraid, it is because you have an idea or a belief that you are afraid will be proven right. It might be an idea or a belief about yourself. It might be about other people. It might be about the world but you are afraid that it's going to be proven right by doing this thing. So in the example of getting out there as a photographer, and I'm gonna use a really general example, a lot of women, a lot of people, men too, but a lot of women have this fear of not being good enough. I'm not good enough. So if we have that fear or that belief that we're not good enough, then doing something that will challenge us, doing something that will stretch us, doing something new or exciting or something that we'll need to be good at, we get afraid because we're going to be, or we think we're going to be, shown that our belief that we're not good enough is true. So if you are afraid of something, ask yourself, what am I afraid of? What am I afraid is going to be proven right by this? What am I afraid might happen if this happens? If I do this, what am I afraid is going to happen? Maybe I'll be successful, but what's that gonna mean? What's that gonna say about me? Why does that, why does that freak me out to put myself out there in a really big way? Why does it make me afraid that no one is going to see me, that I'm going to be rejected? As she said in the question, that feeling of rejection, what is that? What is deeper than that? What's going on underneath the surface of that? Because every single time you are afraid of that, it's because there is a belief or an idea you have about yourself. What is it? It might be, if I'm rejected, maybe it really means that I'm not good enough. Or maybe it means that I'm not important to others. Sounds like the same thing, but it's a really big difference in our hearts. Maybe it's a fear that we're gonna find out that we really are alone or that we're really not anything special, right? All of these ideas and these beliefs and these fears, they all boil down to what it is that we believe about ourselves, what it is we believe about other people. Maybe we believe that other people are dangerous, can't be trusted. Maybe we believe that the world is dangerous and it can't be trusted. Maybe we believe that good things don't happen, right? That they're just, it just doesn't happen, that bad things happen to good people. All of these beliefs will create our fears. So every time we are not in love, 
excited, joyful, happy, laughing, at peace. Anytime we are not in love, we are in fear. What are you afraid of? When you discover what it is that you're afraid of, oh, that's where the magic happens. I'm so excited when I can say, oh, this is fear. Okay, I know this. Oh, I know this. Trust me, I know this. I know fear. If anybody knows fear, it's me. This is fear. Okay, what is this fear telling me? Because as soon as I know what that fear is telling me, it is a clue. As soon as I know what that fear is telling me, I can start to heal it. I can start to heal whatever it is that is creating that fear in my life. And when I heal it, like I said in the last video, when you remove the block or the obstacle, it's like removing the dam. All of the water is going to flow. Things start to flow. There is a process to this. It can be challenging, especially if we get really deep into really deep fears, really deep beliefs, um, traumas, you know, any of those things can be a process to heal, but they can be healed. You did not come into this world in pain and suffering. You are not guaranteed pain and suffering in this life. Or let me say, I like, um, I like the phrase, pain is... Pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. Yes, we will experience challenges, but that does not mean that you have to feel challenged. It doesn't mean that you have to feel fear. You can be in love in the face of anything. You can be starting your business and be totally in love with those nervous jitters. You can be totally in love with, with the fear. I, I, I'm not saying embrace it, don't dwell in it, <laughs> don't stay in it, whatever you do, but love it and appreciate it for what it is. A clue that there is something here that you can move out of your way. When you have that clue, you can find out what's in your way and you can clear it and then you can flow. You can create, you can experience, you can do anything that you want to do when you move those obstacles out of the way when you change the beliefs that are holding you back, when you start living by your new beliefs, by what is really true for you, by what lights you up, what feels true, what resonates deeply with you. When you move that fear out of the way, you were not born with this fear. You were not um, guaranteed to live with this fear. It is not just, this is who I am. No, honey, it's not. It's what you've experienced. It's what you've been taught. It's what you've learned. But it doesn't mean it's who you are. And as soon as you are ready to move past it, you can. You can clear it, you can heal it. The very first step is to understand it. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, grab several pieces of paper. You might be doing this for a while. Do it for at least a few pages if you can and start processing on the paper. Ask yourself, what am I really afraid of? And start going through all of your ideas. Start going through all the thoughts, all the images that come to mind. Just start writing, 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 writing. The more you write, the deeper you get, the more you can understand it, heal it, and move it out of your way. If you need support with this, I can offer support. I have an ebook called Digging Deep, and this is what it's all about. I do coaching on this, but start with that. Start with just journaling on what am I really afraid of? And from there, you're going to learn so much and you're going to heal so much and you're going to do so much and I want to hear about it. So if you guys want to leave a comment, leave a question, leave an experience for other people so that other people cannot feel as though they're alone in feeling this fear because it's, it's not just you, it's not just them, it's all of us. We all experience this fear at some point in our life. And honestly, it's a beautiful thing. It's just as beautiful as love because it leads us to some amazing, amazing possibilities. So leave your questions, leave your comments, um, and I hope that this has helped you to understand a little bit better what's really getting in your way and that you can use it to understand even deeper what you get to heal and what you get to change in your life. Thanks guys.